Tom on the web asked, was it a conscious decision to only migrate workloads to your cloud that were being refreshed or new applications? Uh, conscious decision. Once we made the decision that, that our, our cloud architecture was, was stable and really ready for prime time, so as we moved past the test dev kind of scenarios and got ourselves the rest of the facility around DR and replication and, and provisioning built in, uh, we went all in. Everything was going to go. Everything was going to go virtual. That the advantages for us as a company um, to be nimble and and deliver value to the business ba were based on our virtualized architecture. So we were going all in. Now it took us, you know, six eight months to get there. But once we got past that majority, once we tipped over that 60, 70 percent of our virtualized architecture, I didn't want to keep managing things that weren't in that virtualized space. So we just kind of forced everything in there and worked through the the, the challenges in that process to mm -hmm. to now. There isn't a discussion. We don't debate, can we virtualize or can we not? Everything is coming in virtualized. And if the vendor doesn't want to hear that we're going to virtualize it, we just won't tell them. We're going to do it anyway, because that's how we do what we do. Um, and, and we'll figure out what does or doesn't work. And we've yet to find anything in the last uh, 18 months that we can't virtualize. It's just how you design it. Mm, so. Got it.